Hello, everybody. I uh, thank you for coming to Cyberspace today to join me for another installment of special effects for TV and video. Um, today, what we're going to do, it's, it's really, it doesn't pertain necessarily to your, your final. However, I, I think if you're going to be um, doing any sort of work with film or video in the future, it's really a great thing to know how to make your own lower thirds. Um, it looks a lot better than some of the canned stuff or some of the pre-made lower thirds that you would see from um, some of these nonlinear editing applications. So you can kind of make things look a little more fancy and, and customize it. And um, I hope it's something that, you know, if you do stay in these classes, you're able to use. So. Uh, Let's have at it. So what we're going to do, I'm going to switch over to um, Photoshop. I have this logo right here. Um, and let's see what else we have. Uh, I have purred happily. So I want to base a lower third on this guy. So you see lower thirds um, with news anchors or in documentaries, um, you, you'll see it at the bottom. Generally, it just indicates it, it, it's like text or something like this. You know, here's purred happily um, news anchor. Um, it's just a visual indication of who the person is. So we're gonna do one for purred. Let's pretend that you know this is video. I know it's an image, but I wanted to keep the file size small for you. Um, today because I'm going to actually email uh, you the content so you could actually do if you have After Effects at home you could do it at home you could do it in the library you don't necessarily have to be in the lab today which I'm sure some of you probably enjoy that so I'm going back to this NBC logo I have it prepped for you <clears throat> it's on a screen of 1920 by 1080 and what, what I generally like to do with lower thirds is I'll make the composition in Photoshop um, and I'll, I'll make all the graphical elements in Photoshop. Uh, I tend to do my text in After Effects and the reason for that is you, you can create a template which you can crank out lots of lower thirds. Um, and um, I hope to show you how to do that. So first things first, I am going to actually put this logo in the lower third, in the lower third of the screen. And I'm going to hit Command T and make that a little bit smaller. And that looks good to me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create maybe two rectangles with uh, half transparency. Um, so I'm going to grab the rectangle tool. I'm just going to make a rectangle right there. And that's black right there. But you know, I'm thinking that what I'll do and what you always should do is, is try to base your lower third off of um, you know the logo base it off the colors of the logo. So I'm going to change some of those colors right there. I'm going back to my rectangle tool, going to fill, going to the color palette, and I'm going to borrow that purple, because why not? Um, and while I'm at it, I'm going to name that purple rectangle. Um, what I want to do with this is actually I'm going to go to the direct selection tool and I want to select a couple of points here and move them. Give it a little bit of an angle. So I just highlighted two. It's asking me, you're taking basically taking this rectangle and you're turning it into a regular path. Do you want to go ahead? Yes, I do. So there's that. Um, and I'm going to take the two bottom ones and I just highlighted the two points at the bottom. I'm holding shift on the keyboard and then I'm using my up arrow. And that looks pretty good. 
And again, I'm going to select two over here. I'm holding shift. Oh, back, back. Holding shift and then moving it over just a nudge so it touches the edge of the screen right there. That looks pretty good to me. Oh, there's one thing I forgot. I should probably name this NBC logo just to get things straight. Now that's on the top. I don't necessarily like the looks of that. I'm going to bring the purple rectangle below the NBC logo. Now we can look. Uh, we're getting there, I guess. Here's a little trick. I want to basically dupl duplicate that purple triangle and then maybe I'll make a secondary color, either the yellow or orange. Um, so what I'm going to do is control click or right click over here and um, it should give me an ability to duplicate that layer. Ah, there it is. And I'm going to call this orange or actually maybe, yeah, let's do orange. Well, it's not orange though, is it? So I'm actually going to go up to the fill, color palette, and then change that to orange. Ta-da. I'm going to the move tool. I'm going to move that down. Um, I don't necessarily like the angle of that. I am going to go up to Edit, uh, Transform, and then I'm going to flip that thing vertically. Let's see what happens there. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. I can deal with that. I'm going to put the orange below the purple on, on my, um, over on the right there. So, bring that over. And now, now it's just um, you know kind of a positioning game. I'm going back to my direct selection tool, and I'm going to refine some of these things here. That's looking a little bit better. I'm going to bring that in. Ah, select both of them. And yeah, we'll do that. There we go. It's kind of looking okay, right? <laughs> um, but let's add a little bit more pizzazz to this. Uh, and I think what I'll do is I'll throw a drop shadow on there. That will look kind of nice. I wonder how a stroke would look. I'll throw a stroke on there. I'm not necessarily sold on it. Eh. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, I don't like the stroke. I'm going to go back to it. Get rid of that. Hit OK. And now I want to apply the same sort of effects to the orange rectangle. But I don't want to go through the whole process of that because that was boring, right? So what we're going to do is I'm going to control click over here and I'm going to go over to this thing. It says copy layer style. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. I'm going to go over to orange rectangle and then I'm going to click on paste layer style. Ooh, nice. Um, I I'm fairly happy with what's happening over there. Now, I've mentioned in the past that sometimes After Effects doesn't play nice with some of these effects that you have. So it's really important to do this thing where you rasterize layers. So let's do that right now. I'm going to hold down the Shift key, selecting the two layers with the, the effects on it. I'm going to Control click on it. And I'm just going to rasterize layer styles. Ta-da! That kind of gets rid of those things, but it still retains those effects. Another thing I want to do is I want to bring down the transparency. I'm holding my shift key. I'll bring down the transparency just a nudge. So we'll be able to see the video behind it. There we go. So 
right there is the composition. So I'm going to go to File, Save As, and then um, I'll call this Lower Third Comp. Um, saving that under Perd happily. I'm clicking Save and OK. Great. Now quit out of Photoshop, go into After Effects, Command I. I'm going to bring in the uh, lower third comp. It's asking me if I want to have the uh, editable layer styles. I'm going to click OK. So I have this lower third comp right there. It looks pretty good. It retained all the layer styles and everything. Uh, I'm going to import PURD right there. Let's bring PURD in. I'm going to throw PURD behind that. Hey, not bad, right? Now I want to do a couple of things here. I'm thinking I want to throw a mask on this and have it kind of slide over. And I want to do a light sweep. And uh, that's about it. Oh, and then throw some text on and do um, an animation preset, which those are fun. So let's start off. We'll lock down all the layers over here. I want to uh, maybe affect the purple rectangle first. So I'm highlighting purple rectangle. I'm going up to the rectangle tool and I'm going to make a very a mask around that. Um, now this is a little bit different than we're used to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrub ahead about half a second and I'm actually going to set my path. Then I'm going to scrub back to the beginning and I'm actually going to move my mask off right there. So it kind of reveals like that. Um, one thing I am going to do is increase the feather. I think that just looks a little nicer. You can see the edge kind of feather off. It just looks better when you're able to do that. Great. I think that looks pretty good. I am going to do the same thing to the orange rectangle. But this time, um, maybe I'll stagger it a little longer. So for example, um, instead of starting at the zero mark, I would start at in 15 frames. So, and then end it at one second. So I'm going to lock down my other ones and throw a mask around that. Ooh, mistake. The mistake was I didn't highlight my orange rectangle. So I'm going to do that. Okay, I have the mask selected. That's where I want to end up. Eh, one second. Okay. I'm going to set my mask path. Then I'm going to scrub to about 15 frames. We're right when the other one finishes. Then I'm going to move my mask off of the screen. And then you kind of have this staggered look. Ooh, right? Not bad. We're getting there. Um, let's see. With the NBC logo, I want to have like a blur effect. So what we'll do, I've locked down my other ones. I'm highlighting NBC logo. Going up to effect, uh, blur. And let's use a Gaussian blur. Uh, and what we'll do is I'm going to crank the blurriness. I'm going to really crank it. Now you'll still be able to see it, but we're going to do a couple of things here. So we'll start out super blurry. And I'm going to set that. And at about 15 frames, I'm going to bring the blur to zero. Ta-da! Now, the problem with that, of course, is we see it in the beginning, and we don't want to. 
The way we're going to take care of that is we'll go down to transform. I'm going to bring the opacity to zero. I'm going to go ahead uh, just a couple frames and then increase the opacity. There we go. So that way it's it's disappeared and then we have that nice little blur on there. Um, just a couple other things I'd like to do. Um, I think I want to throw a light sweep on the little peacock logo. So again, we're only working with the NBC logo. I'm going to go up to Effect. I'll go to Generate. And uh, we'll use a CC Light Sweep. Now I'm going to reposition my X and Y. You can also do this by grabbing onto the handle over here. Great. So I'll, I'll make a couple passes of it. So right when it appears, I'll set my center right there. And then maybe go ahead half, half a second or so. Do that sweep. There you go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy a frame. I'm just highlighting that keyframe, hitting Command C, and then I'll hit Command V. So we have this kind of back and forth. And then maybe I'll repeat that again down here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so we have two of them. That looks nice. Okay, I think pretty happy with with all this stuff here. Okay, um, the last part is we want to add text to this. So I'll go ahead and add purred happily. Ooh. In case you didn't know, he's a character on um, the television show Parks and Rec. It's a great, great show if you haven't seen it. So I'll have two things. I think actually the white works. We kind of just lucked out with that. And then maybe on the bottom one, I'll put, um, you know, we'll say he's a news anchor. Anchor. Um, looks like I'm going to have to change maybe some of that. Make it look a little nicer. The white looks eh. I'm not necessarily sold on it over there. Um, let's change that to black. There you go. That works. Bop. Okay. Um, this is a fun little thing. You guys are going to kill me after seeing this too. There are a series of presets that you can use in here. So when I make a, a lower third, this is basically what I'll do. I'll set it up so I'll be able to go and edit after like the, t the text. So this would just be a template and then I can crank things out in a render. Um, but I want to do something to the text, but I don't feel like making my own effects for it. So I'm going to go to Animation, and I'm going to click on Browse Presets. Notice that I do have Purred Happily um, highlighted right there. What happens when you browse presets is it actually opens up... Oh no. Uh, I lied because I don't have the third application in there. Well. At any rate, this is what we'll do. We're just going to apply a blur on it and then um, the opacity. So, But what's great about this is, you know what? We already did that, didn't we, over here with the logo. So in order to save time, I'm actually going to go 
down to the MVC logo. I'm going to highlight both effects. I'm going to hit Command. Well, I'm going to make sure I'm at the beginning. I'm going to hit Command C. Then I'm going to go over to Purd Happily, like where I would like that effect to start. And making sure I uh, didn't highlight the other ones. Going over to Purd Happily, I'm dropping down the menu, and then I'm hitting Command V. Ba da! Pretty cool, huh? And then we're going to do the same thing to the news anchor. Uh, I'll have that come in right after. Heard. Ta da! Great. And then that's it. The last thing that I want to do is I want to um, do a fade on all of these. So what I'm going to do is highlight all of it, right? With exception of uh, the background. I'm going to bring it to about six and a half seconds. And I'm opening up only the top one and transform and I'm going to set a keyframe with the opacity at 100%. Now that sets a keyframe on actually all of them, which is kind of neat. So then I'm going to scrub ahead and bring that to zero and do a fade. Ta-da! And there you have it, lower thirds. Um, and that's, that's all I would like you to do this week. Um, if you could make your own, that'd be great. I'd like you to follow along this tutorial um, with the files and uh, give it a shot on your own. And I'll see you next Tuesday. Everybody have a great week. Okay, bye.